Cheers. Cheers! Welcome to Movie Bitches! RuPaul's Drag Race Season 10, Episode 1! <laughs> I am so excited. Yes! This episode was great. It was fabulous. I'm so excited. I just want more already. It's just like, yes! In Eureka's words, they picked a lot of flavor. Oh my god, a lot I of love flavor this season. There is. Oh, there's gonna be flavor this year. I can't <laughs> wait. Yeah. Lots of personality. Oh my god, I love it. Lots of drama. I love that the vixen is just not purely there to oh, stir shit yeah. up. Yeah, she's like, oh, you had thoughts? Well, tell them. Don't just sit there. Tell us. Oh, name them, girl. Name them. First things first, shout out to her wine sponsor, Wink, trywink.com slash moviebitches. You get $20 off your first month of wine. A special thank you to our Patreon subscribers. At $5 or more, you get this early, so you're watching this before everyone else's. Literally. Lucky you. Yeah. And um, thank you to everyone. Please subscribe. Please tell everyone in the world that we are great and that you love us because we love you. And, and apparently we're matchmakers. Yes. That was pretty crazy. Love it. We're just bringing people together across the world. <laughs> so, we have a brand new workroom. Yes. Fabulous. It does look, it looks very cotton candy. Yeah. But I'm not mad at it. No, it just looks new, you know, shiny and new. Yeah. Not loving the new farewell statues. No, I don't like them at all. They look really creepy. <laughs> and, and most of them are silver and the others gold. Just give me the other Rue statues. They were much better. They were so cute. Yeah. Um, These ones don't look like Rue. You wouldn't know. No, you You'd wouldn't be like, know. Is that a... I guess they were trying to go for like an Oscar vibe, but like, Looks why? Like an Oscar that got melted. Yeah. Or something. Something. I was laughing. At least they didn't have that creepy wax statue of Rue anymore. I miss it. I liked it. I, I thought I you mean, hate it. I hate it. But I don't have to be in the room with it. Sure. So, you know, sure. It's like a silly sure. fun prop. So all the girls start coming in. First, First to walk in is Eureka O'Hara with this Toucan Sam <laughs> realness. It was like it was it was like Cirque du Soleil Carnival Phoenix. Sure. Toucan Sam in there. With with quite a bit of like Rio de Janeiro. Yeah, it carnival. was like Carnival. Yeah. You know, I loved all the accoutrements. You know. Sure. But it was like you know a a leotard. Like yeah. at the end of the day, I'm yeah. like. I'm seeing a lot of leotards, just in general. Sure. An observation. I love the accoutrements. <laughs> so then next is Asia O'Hara. <laughs> no, but they're not related, are they? No, because Eureka says, oh, I know about the pageant O'Haras. Oh. oh. It's a different strain, apparently. Sure. Asia comes in and her face is Beat. And I yeah. loved it in her yeah. wig. She looked so fishy. Yeah, and like fringe. I loved this. Like, it's well, in crazy. Texas, we wear fringe on our sleeves to anything that's important. And I'm like, and we mean business. Yeah, that's a, yeah. We wear fringe. And that's it. Felt like she was like going to a bank mm -hmm. to like discuss their property or something. Just, I own fifty one percent of exactly. this company, and I need my loan now. Yeah, yeah. It was good. Yeah. I, it was. I Where's my it. oil royalties? You know, I was like, okay. I liked it a lot. Yeah. You need to come down to Texas with all of this. Texas loves my fat ass. Yeah. Because I be coming in all extra and shit. Yeah, Texas likes extra. <laughs> so then next is Ms. Cracker. I still just think Buriana. Buriana. Uh, well, Buriani. Maybe not. <laughs> Burrata Cracker. Bur Burrata Cracker, yes. <laughs> That's her brother. <laughs> I don't know why I find that so funny. <laughs> I'm glad that's nice. Tickled, tickled me. Tickled you, um, me. <laughs> Ms. Cracker. Right. Um, which really upset Asia O'Hara. She was like, I can't And say Monique. This. They yeah, were both like, like oh, I, uh, uh. I, Maybe Cracker is used as more of a really mean thing in the South. I don't know, like, sure. Cracker the slur always was kind of silly to me. I never took it super personally. Sure. Not that I've particularly been called Cracker that often. No. It was never like a, <gasps> to me. It reminds me of that Mike Birbiglia joke. Sometimes I'll use the word Cracker in my act because a lot of black comics use the N word. I like to use the C word, like, me and my Cracker friends were driving down the street in my Volvo station wagon, and I said, hey, Cracker, pass the sun chips. Yes. You remember Sleepwalk with me? 
Yeah. I liked that movie. The movie's really cute. Yeah. I'm a fan of Mike Birbiglia. Sure. What can I say? Yeah. So anyway, um, Miss Cracker had like this blue... It was, if you paused and looked, it was really intricately detailed. Yeah. I really liked this. She um, has like a ball of knitting yarn on her head, which was silly. <laughs> yeah, I think Asia Hair goes, is that a grapefruit on her head? It's like, okay. But like covered in... Like plastic. imagining like a little cat, you know, like... <laughs> oh wait, I... I can, and then like I can and then see that like Photoshop. knitting needles, you know, oh my God. And, yeah. and she's just like, <laughs> I like it. I think that would be cute. That would be cute. <laughs> it's like a little cat clip. Yeah. <laughs> sure. Yes. <gasps> yeah. So anyway, yeah, she comes in and she's like, Okay, it's time for dinner. Ah, and it was very Sasha Velour. Like, sure. Ah, whatever, and I was fully expecting Eureka to recreate her moment and go, oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it's time for dinner! Oh, wow. But she didn't. No. <laughs> but they were like, okay. Uh, okay. It was um, less funny to me than in the video of her doing it. In the video? Hey, Caitlin, well, time for dinner! Caitlin, it's time for dinner! Okay, Caitlin, time for dinner! Okay, Caitlin, it's time for dinner! Okay, Caitlin, time for dinner, and also every single Susan Sarandon movie ever made. Okay, Caitlin, time for dinner. Okay, Caitlin, time for dinner. Okay, Caitlin, time for dinner. It was less, like, manic in on the show, somehow. Yeah. It was still weird. It was so weird. But, but less, like, like, insane, I yeah. guess? I don't know, and maybe just the repetition of it happening over and over and over in all the different outfits yeah, yeah. made it even funnier. But, yeah. yeah, it was like, oh, that wasn't as funny as I thought it could have been. Yeah. But what are you gonna do? I did think her nose contour was pretty aggressive. It yeah. was like edging on the Magnolia Crawford <laughs> level. It was like almost there. It was, it was slightly less dark. Sure, know, less, sure. Less harsh lines. There could have been a little less. But it was a lot. Or like a lot less. <laughs> it was. I was like, oh. The next step was Yuhua uh, Hamasaki. Hamasaki. <laughs> I almost said Kawasaki. <laughs> Oh god. Enemies will hear us. The shape when we go past. Kawasaki ninjas rule like Kawasaki ninjas cool. Kawasaki ninjas cool or whatever. What was that? Was that a jingle? Probably. Anyway, next up was Yuhua. I was like, oh, she looks like Geisha Bianca Del Rio. Sure. And then later someone said that too. Yeah. It was good. I, yeah, I like this. It's always a bit theme with her. Sure. Um, and less fashion, so it can edge on the side of costume. I thought this was really good. I she, wanna see. She should be cautious of that. Oh boy. Oh, shut up, Ross. Boy, shut up, Ross. <laughs> shut up, Ross. She seems really fun. She seems really I fun. Like the, I like this, like, girl, you're not a real woman either. Yeah, she's like. I thought you were Japanese. No, I'm Chinese, girl. Hamasaki? Well, you're not a real woman either. <laughs> So then next is Blair St. Clair, who is probably 12 years old. I'm... She looks like she's in the Sandlot Gang. Oh my God. When they cut to her <laughs> confessional. Yeah. They're like, there she is. Like, oh, <laughs> careful. She might have had that tobacco. She might throw up on you after the tilt a whirl. You better look out. <laughs> yeah. But like, then in drag, she's like, oh God, who was the, what was the name of the girl, the lifeguard? Oh, it was, um, it was the girl from Sugar and Spice, whose name is escaping me at the moment. But she's the main girl in Sugar and Spice. Remember Sugar and Spice? Nope. You don't remember Sugar and Spice? When, like, the teenage girls try to rob the bank? Yes. It's like, uh, they copy all of the heist yeah. bank robbing movies yeah. that they've seen. Yeah. They do, like, Heat and everything, yeah. and it's great. Yeah. <laughs> so, Blair St. Clair, the Broadway gal. Oh my god. The little ingenue. Yes, I am excited for her. I just turned into Paul Lind. And I don't know why. I don't know, somehow I imagine him talking to a young Broadway ingenue and being like, this town's a son of a bitch. <laughs> no, this was like full, just got off the bus from Ohio, sweet charity, like, yep. I'm gonna be in Broadway. And I was like, yeah, uh-huh, I love it. Yeah. <laughs> it's great. Yeah, I'm here for her. I think she's really cute and fun and yep. like knows who she is. Yeah. Yeah. And is talented. Like I'm excited. I'm excited. We'll see. I like Blair. We'll see. She better not Valentina us. I don't think she will. I don't think she will. I think Aquaria is giving me some Valentina oh, attitude. Yes. Oh yes. We'll get there. Oh yes. And then well so she comes in and she's in this like white trench coat, so it was very like Mary Tyler Moore. 
are like, yes, girl, you're a career girl, get it. Um, and then she takes off her coat in the, in the mini challenge, and it was like Pan Am 1960s. Yeah. And I was like, this is adorable. Yeah. She's really cute. She is really cute. Well, you know what career girls want? C careers? <laughs> you know what you career girls want? Careers? <laughs> So the next up is Monet Exchange. Oh my god. Who comes in in this Rosie the Riveter realness in her coveralls, yeah. and her little bandana in her hair. Especially in the broom. Sweeping the broom. It was, this was like a, a long walk yeah. to this joke. I'm here to sweep up the competition. And it was like, well, I As she reveals her she cute like little. She takes off, does a quick change into like a glittering pantsless coverall. And um, it was great. Yeah. But it was a long walk. She looked fabulous. Oh yeah, her the shape, the Flawless. face, everything about it. I was into it. Yeah. Oh, don't mind me. I'm just here to sweep up the competition, girl. So next up is Cameron Michaels. Yeah. Who auditioned for Pit Crew but didn't make it. <laughs> um, this is gonna be more fun. I mean, this felt like a producer was like, here, say this. Well, I auditioned for Pit Crew, but this is going to be way more fun. You look like Tommy Lee in drag. <laughs> like, if Motley Crue were posing as their own groupies, somehow that was Cameron Michaels. Okay. I liked, um, I liked Mariah's comment on... on we'll the... talk about it. <laughs> Don't be spoiling Mariah's moment. I love... Right. I fucking love her. Um, yeah, I didn't really care for this that much. No. Because, like, she's she's a muscly queen, and yet she dresses overtly very girly feminine. Right. Which is, like, a, a weird dichotomy, and I don't know if it always works. It, like, highlights the fact that she's mannish. I Rather than, like, because I'm down for, like, an androgynous or a masculine-looking woman, but because she's dressing so floral yeah. and... And femininity, it's like a, it's a weird, it's not doing it for me. I agree. You're totally right because if you look at like Nina Flowers, you're like, no, that's like a fucking man. But then it's like in drag, you're like, oh my god, but yes, like, like, yes, I don't know what exactly. Into it's like something else. Yes, you know. <laughs> yes, you're like, yes, this is working for me. Yeah. So next up was Mayhem Miller, who comes in looking like little baby Kennedy again. I mean, it's so cute. Yeah. And she's so fucking pretty. This was gorgeous. She's got this red velvet, just fits in all the right places, dress. It was good. I really like her. She looked expensive. Mm-hmm. What is drag like in, in California? Like this? No, I'm just kidding. No, it's not that good. <laughs> Next, Calorie Kardashian Williams. Rue later says Bonita Brown, and I was like, Rude. excuse you. Rude. She comes in in... A leotard. She, this, <laughs> this looked like a real last minute Halloween costume of like a panda, but she like forgot the ears and the nose or didn't have time. Didn't wow. It seem, not. Harsh. It seemed like, I'm a mouse, duh. Like, sure. I'm going to wear this sort of like slutty outfit that could be an animal. It's yeah. Halloween. I don't know. I thought of this this morning. Sorry. That's what did, I mean, tell no, me I, I'm wrong. No, I, I feel you. Tell me I'm, I'm wrong. I'm still... You put a little panda nose and little ears on her. She's a cute little panda. Sexy panda. <laughs> um, I mean, she was feeling herself and I am all for her confidence. Yes. And I'm all... I loved Christina Aguilera. We'll get there, obviously, but oh, like, yeah. I loved that. Like, I love your confidence and you yeah. seem really sweet. <laughs> And that's all I'm gonna say. She does seem sweet. Yes. And she does have a lot of confidence. Yes. And I'm here for her being all about her body, and I am sure. here for it, but this outfit was bad. Yeah. And then out of drag, she looks sort of like a like a heavy set Hal Sparks. And I can't unsee it, guys. <laughs> I can't unsee it. And now neither can you. I'm just like, oh Hal Sparks is here! I love oh no, it's not quite him. But I'm excited. Who doesn't love Hal Sparks? Sure. You know what I was thinking just recently um, about how formative Queer as Folk was. Oh, yeah. And, like, how special oh, yeah. it is. If you haven't watched Queer as Folk. You definitely should. You should 100% watch Queer as Folk. Yeah. <laughs> Next up was Monique Hart. Oh, my God. I fucking love her. Ms. Favorite. She is my Ms. Favorite so far. So far. I mean, it's been one episode. 
but I can tell. <laughs> I want to hang out with her. Oh, yes. All the time. Now, if she was Monique Hearts, do we like that name better? Nope. Yeah, it really should be Cut a Bitch Heart. I do like Cut a Bitch Heart. Cut a Bitch Hearts? No. Just Heart. Why are we trying to pluralize it? I don't know. I'm trying to give it a little razzmatazz somehow. Okay. That razzle dazzle. I think she brings enough razzle dazzle. She does. She's the razzle dazzle queen. A little sprinkle over here, a little glitter over there, honey. Yeah! She's gonna give you the ooh ah ah sensation, honey. She comes in in this golden ticker tape pinata pants. Pants. Oh, crop yeah. Top. Legs for days. And her face looked great. Yeah. I'm excited. There's some talent this season. Yeah, with personality. Exactly. In her confessional, she's just like, I don't know what to tell you. I'm the production. <laughs> I'm a production. I'm eating it up. Exactly. <laughs> I'm a production I want to watch. I'm coming to opening night. Yep. I'm coming to closing night. I'm going to be there the whole time. Yeah. I love it. Eight shows a week. Let's do it. <laughs> Twice on Wednesday. Great. Yeah, Wednesday matinees are like a thing now. Yeah, I don't know. So then next is Dusty Ray Bottoms. Bottom or Bottoms? Bottoms? Bottoms. Bottoms. Miss Dusty Ray Bottoms? I think she should just be Dusty Bottoms. Dusty Bottoms? Ooh, I don't know if anyone wants a Dusty Bottom. <laughs> but it'd make you laugh. Sure. Coming up next! Dusty, Dusty Bottoms! Dusty Bottoms! I mean, it definitely seems like a stripper. Sure. Like an old stripper? <laughs> like a really old stripper that does like a cowgirl act. Sure. Right? Dusty gives I you can't, cowboy. I can't. What does it give you? Dirty. Old. Atticky. <laughs> Want to go in that musty old clutch? <laughs> so anyway, Dusty. Who'd want to R her? <laughs> I can't. <laughs> so Dusty yeah. Ray Bottoms. Yeah. She has a real thing with, like, I want to be zombie Sandra D. Sure. And, um, you know, semi here for it. <laughs> Scary Bradshaw. Oh, boy, that was funny. It was funny. Um, you know, I liked this. I liked it. I liked this a lot more than her later look. We'll talk about it. I think sometimes the dots work better than other times. I agree. Depending on the wig, depending on the color scheme that's going on. Because yep. in this, she had, like, a lot of pinks. Mm -hmm. that were highlighting the dots mm -hmm. and sort of working together and then later I thought it was less successful. I agree. I thought um, her makeup looked actually really cool and pretty yeah. while also different. I don't know why it always reminds me of the Cowardly Lion. <laughs> I don't know if it's partly her face or the dots or the way, I don't know, but it's like... like her she, whisker holes. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Out of drag, he reminds me of the kid from Modern Family. He looks like Luke from Modern Family. Yeah. It's... Almost uncanny. Yeah. So the next up is the Vixen. I like this this intro look a lot. She must be a Taurus. Oh I still God, don't know who said that, but I love it. She's got these bull horns. I mean, it's bull for Chicago bulls. Sure, but sure. So here for. <laughs> I think she's a Taurus. I think she's from Chicago. I don't know. Maybe. Um. Yeah. I mean, it looks like she's wearing a deconstructed like Chicago postcard all over. Yes. You know? Totally. And it was like cool and interesting looking. And you're at first you're like, what is this? And and it takes you a minute, but it all goes together. It did. It it didn't look like a mess. No. It all like had a thought yeah. and a point. So then next was Vanessa Vanji Mateo, Miss Vanji. Vanji. Oh my God! I. Loved her. I really Love. liked her too. I'm really bummed whenever we'll talk about it later. But this was fun. So she comes in with this big cage. This huge gold cage and collar, like Elizabethan, just like the undergarments. Yeah. And I really liked it. It looked really I really cool. liked it too. Her makeup is beautiful. Gorgeous. Yeah. Like the whole episode is like, oh, I can't wait to get more of this. Oh, I can't wait for a season of this. Oh, I can't wait. And so I was really gutted at the end. I know. I'm really hoping that they bring her back. Somehow. It just was like, we'll talk. We'll, we'll just talk about it. Well, she's kind of ghetto, but still, you know, eloquent. So then last in is Aquaria. Not a Taurus. Maybe she is. I don't know. I don't know. So she comes in. I like this a lot. It was cool. It all went together as well. Like, it was like a yeah. complete look. She's got just like a belt as her top. And the wig for me really brought it all together and made it like 
thing, I guess, you know, sure. it, just, it was a sort of razor cutted punk black wig with these cool earrings and this bondage-y kind of vibe, like punk bondage, and I liked it, but it yeah. still felt fashion. Sure. I didn't mind the outfit at all. I just, I don't know about her personality. Well, she seems bored. But also boring. boring. Yeah. Yeah, she has. And also overly confident. It's almost like Aja oh, was at the beginning of the season where it's like, oh girl, you need to. You're gonna get taken down a peg. Yeah. I can tell that every girl in the room knows exactly who this bitch is. Oh my gosh! And uh, they should. Um, I think she's definitely gonna go through it. Yes. Is what I'll say. Be good TV. Oh, it will be good TV. <laughs> and then, oh my god, her confessional look, somebody already put it up, but she looks just like Lloyd Christmas from Dumb and Dumber, and it made me laugh so hard. <laughs> I was losing my mind. It's the Alyssa and Coco moment of like, dun 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 dun, oh my god, oh my god. You! What? You! Um, and apparently we get the rundown from Monet Exchange that apparently there's this rivalry between them and people mix them up all the time and they put the photos next I to mean, each other and I was like, yeah, they really do look a lot alike. Yeah. <laughs> apparently that's going to be a a plot point for the season. I, I really don't care. But I really gonna, don't care. It seems like Miss Cracker can't be bothered, but maybe it's just because she hasn't really been in Brought the room. into it. Yeah, I don't know. We'll see. I don't want to spend a lot of time on it. No. I'm more so here for the drama of like everyone mixes them up and less so here for the drama of like, she copied me, she's ripping off my looks, blah. Like, I, I don't want that whiny nonsense. No. But I do think it's funny that it's like, oh, but we look the same. I love the idea too then of just like Ms. Cracker just trolling her. Oh yeah. Where it's like, oh no, you know what? I changed my mind. I'm also gonna do a yellow outfit. So then we get our Rue message. Oh yeah. And they just, Oh ham fist every <laughs> winner's name into this bizarre monologue yeah. and it was like pretty bad <laughs> whatever i mean it made me laugh but i was sure. like oh boy <laughs> you gotta via let them take your crowd like oh boy whatever who cares the it doesn't matter with, raja you lose <laughs> no like it didn't work it was pretty silly so then rue comes in in this like scarecrow Outfit, but like painted, like watercolor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Georgia O'Keeffe scarecrow, kind of. Ooh, now I am interested in a Georgia O'Keeffe scarecrow if they're on the market. I like it a lot. I like that this episode now is getting lots of Wizard of Oz themes going through mm, it. Yeah, and Rue's Jesus sandals. Yes. I love that Aquaria was like, oh, the sandals, girl. Yes. Oh my God, mandals. Excuse me. Oh my gosh, I love it. I do too. I mean, you're not supposed to wear open-toed shoes on set. It's a bad idea. But I did love this. I mean, I feel like that... That, that really I wonder, only applies to not talent. It, right. So then Rue announces that there's going to be a mini challenge. Yay! I'm very excited Oh, about. wait, we didn't talk about the format. So I'm very excited that all season, none of this, like, oh, some are, some aren't nonsense. Every episode is 90 minutes. Oh, is that, like, Yeah, confirmed? that's what they said. Oh, yeah, 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 they said it. Every episode is going to be 90 minutes, and there's going to be an untouched that airs after on VH1. And I am excited. Yes, granted, untouched is basically the same as it has been. Not quite. Not quite. Not quite. They got rid of that goddamn Philip Glass piano murder music. Blum, 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 blum. It's like some grand piano shit. It's right. Oh my god. Play one wrong note. And, and these queens seem like they're, oh, they're here. Gonna, yeah. They're like, oh no, we're bringing old untucked back whether yeah. you like it or not. Exactly. And I'm like, yeah, yeah. good. Yeah. So they still need the two rooms, in my opinion. I agree. Even if it's like some stupid. Like room divider and the couch on one side of the couch. Even that, I feel like, would. Sure. Be like, I've seen that tap, 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 tap. Did you hear what Aquarius said about this? Yeah. Be good. It'd be good. So, so Rue announces yeah. that there's gonna be a mini challenge and that it's gonna be a walk off. I was here for it because I loved a lot of those queens. Oh, yeah. I, I mean, was like, I was sad because it was like too quick. Oh yeah. Like it could be like, who's that? Oh, what? oh I think that was Angina. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. And then I'd be like, who's that? Awkwardly enough, Eureka goes first, first, and they just make her like stand there and get the instructions. Maybe they did this for everybody, but they only aired her because she was first. I don't know. <laughs> but she's just standing there like... Okay. <laughs> Assume the position, and I was like, oh, where's this going? Well, then Eureka keeps talking about her butthole. My butthole has sucked up the crotch of my fucking leotard. Eureka goes first. 
She... I think she was very hesitant. She was very hesitant. She doesn't seem quite in it yet. Quite in, in it to win it yet. Sure. I know she wants to be there. I know she's like trying. Yeah. But she, she doesn't seem like her head's in the right place at this very moment. Perhaps. Hopefully she'll yeah. click back in. Uh, but yeah, she like almost fell off the runway. Yeah. Like she just seems tentative. Sure. Which yes. is understandable because she hurt herself last time she was on the show. Later in the episode, I think she said that this was the first time yeah. that she has danced yeah. since. So it her totally surgery. makes sense. But it's definitely like you're gonna need to yeah. get that like fire back yeah. if you want to win yeah. kind of thing. And then I just started like basically trying to pick out who was there because I was like, well, Manila. Like, oh my God, it's Manila. Yes, for the cowboy fringe. Oh my God, it's Katya. Yeah. Oh, it's Mariah. Oh my oh, God. Miss Morgan. Raven, Juju, like it was uh, like, yay! Yeah, it was definitely like. I mean, I was like, oh, Rue, that's funny. You and I have some of the favorite queens, the same thingsies. It was definitely who was in town, though. It was definitely who was in town. <laughs> and James Mansfield was there. Oh, I missed her. She was there. I was like, yay, it's James. And, um... Hi, James. <laughs> I'm just listening. I mean, she, she comments every now and then, so... That's true. We love you. You're fabulous. Yeah. Chad looks gorgeous. I miss Chad. How did I miss these people? I don't know. I mean, it was it like was flash and... Yeah. I'd be like, oh... Oh, detox is dressed yes. was pretty much everything. Um, Angina's outfit was everything. Kimchi was there. Yeah. Oh my god, I love Kimchi later when she's playing with Vanessa's like. She, Vanessa just hands her her cage and she's like, okay. I need a gif of that. Adore was there. Trixie was there. Yeah. Pork chop was there. Oh my god, I love. Pork chop. I like that someone was like they need to do a season of first eliminated queens. That would be interesting. And then Mayhem does like a fucking cartwheel in that yes, floor like gown. Yes. And I'm like, yes! <laughs> and I can't even do that if there were four people operating all of my limbs. <laughs> Vixen's skirt is like coming apart. And Juju's yes. like, girl, this is season 10. You hot glue that shit. <laughs> this is RuPaul's Drag Race season 10, girl. Hot glue that shit. I, I love Juju. Juju. Be so I love fun. Juju. You're great. <laughs> and then Dusty comes out. And it was both in confessionals that they said these things. Dusty goes something like, oh, Tempest wasn't smiling because right. her face, or sure. some dig or something. And then it cuts to Tempest and she's like, Could someone please wake me up when Dusty's gone? Because Tempest Azure is Dusty Ray Bottoms in the future? Is it like... <laughs> like a Terminator situation? Yeah. I did like Dusty Ray Bottoms when, when she, oh, like, she like tore like, her bodice or whatever, yeah, yeah, and it yeah. was like, oh, look at these jeweled boobs. Because Yara Sophia was there. Yes. We saw her. I was I like, know. no, we needed all of them to do walk off too. I don't care. It's two hours long. Who cares? Exactly. Um, and Yara thinks that her name is U Haul. Yes. It's a U Haul. That's the girl that works for the company that moves people from houses, no? And then Cameron Michaels comes out. Oh, I love Mariah. I miss Mariah. Oh. oh, I'm so glad she's still the fabulous Mariah that we I want Mariah love. to host a show mm. where it's just like the shade sh tree. Sh <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> the library is open, right? Like, let's go to the library. <laughs> Mariah's library yes. or something. I love some freshly got fucked hair and she knew how to toss it. I said, bitch, she's coming from a gig. I loved Monet Exchange because it does this silly little, she's she like, oh, like, I'm going to death drop, drop and then I do it again and, it, and again. And then I do it again. It's like, Silly. And everyone goes back into the workroom and they're all de-dragging and every, the first episode everyone's always like, oh, oh what do you look like? Oh, what do you look like on a drag? Oh, wow. Well. And then <laughs> Cameron Michaels is walking by. Oh my god. What? Oh my god. <laughs> and he's like, what girl, what? He's I like, have a like, new crush. It might as well have been like a Tex Avery cartoon, like, oh, god. <laughs> ah. Like, it was really funny. Oh my god. <laughs> what? Is something wrong? Are you okay? No, I'm just drooling over your body. Oh my god. And then everyone starts, like, everyone's like, oh, oh. wait. Oh no, no. Oh. Wait, oh, camera's really hot. Oh yeah. shit. Oh, you didn't tell us there was real trade in this. <laughs> Why nobody say there was actual trade up in here? Miss Cameron is looking so juicy. <laughs> oh, Cameron is definitely the trade yeah. of the season. The rough, rough trade. trade. She's so good, I love her! Cameron is definitely the trade of season 10. And I mean rough trade, the kind of trade that'll throw you on the wall and you'll be like, oh, I think I'm into it. Yeah, but for sure, he's it. Her confessionals are definitely the best. Yeah. Like, she's schooling yes. the confessionals. I'm a production! Uh, Monet Exchange wins the mini yes. challenge and- It doesn't matter. Oh, she won, she won $2,000 to something or other. Cool. 
Great. Nothing that had any bearing on like, oh, you get to, you get 20 extra seconds to run towards this garbage and see if you can grab more than other people. It didn't, didn't, matter. didn't matter. The maxi challenge is drag on a dime. Same as the first season of the first episode. And I was so excited. I was like, oh, they're going to go to the thrift store. Oh, no, they didn't. Oh, but, they're going to let them go outside and do day drag? No. no. But they brought in a bunch of shopping carts oh and God. Jason comes in in this giant Gigantic shop shopping cart, like a little toddler in the seat, like... <laughs> he's having he's, so much fun. He's living his life yes. and he is loving it. Yeah, I love and it. And then too. he just kept sitting there. Yep. Why while they not? were all like, of he, course, he's a bit awkward and he's like, oh, like, hold oh on, I, gotta, I gotta get down. Yeah. yeah. It was weird. There was some new pit crew members. Yeah. So they just have to grab a bunch of garbage. Yeah. I feel like they could have gotten them some better garbage. I agree. This was like garbage. A little bit. I guess what's annoying to me is that like what I like about the idea of like, oh, you have to go to the thrift store. Like, oh, you have to whatever. It's more creative. You have to be like, okay, what should what? I get? Oh, would this work? Yeah. Okay, blah, blah, blah. Well, and with the thrift store, there's like actual clothes that you then deconstruct sure, sure. to then make something else. Sure. This was more of like an unconventional challenge from Project Runway, which well, exactly. is fun which too, is fun. but different. But, but then also like, I, then I, it's like we went to the 99 cent store and you got to pick out whatever you wanted. Exactly. Give them a little bit more free reign to be creative and right. find stuff. I mean, whatever. Most of them turned it out and worked it out. Yeah. So then everyone's getting their outfits together and Miss Cracker starts talking. Can I just call her Cracker? I don't know. Brie? Brianna? Can we just call her Brie? She's talking about how she grew up really poor with like this artist mother and she would like encourage her to go find garbage on the street and like dumpster dive and like make something fabulous yeah. out of it. And I was like, well, that's fabulous. Yeah. I love this. Yeah. So that was really, that was like a nice little moment. My mother taught me to comb the streets for garbage I liked and to make it into something fascinating. And everyone's sort of chatting and getting to know each other and like asking me if they should make a caution tape dress or not. And people give either good advice or bad advice about it. And <laughs> I think I like the caution tape look better. If you can find a way to make it like really like chic. We get a real produced moment where Kardashian is like, so Eureka, you hurt your knee last season? Tell me about your recovery. <laughs> That's like, girl, you definitely watch the show. This is awkward. So Eureka, last season you ended up falling and hurting yourself? I mean, oh my knee. Yeah. I mean, whatever. This was just like, oh, okay, let's, let's. Like we have to. Clean yeah, it, get yeah, this out of the way, yeah. I guess, and you're in Kata you know, it's hard, it was hard, yeah. surgery, recovery, you know, it was all of the above, but it was sort of like, yeah, I mean, okay. But the show, I guess, like for liability reasons. I, like, <laughs> right, she's fine now, you guys, we swear. Great. We pay for her surgery, she's great. She, we pay for her physical therapist, it's great. So anyway, and then it ends with um, Aquaria getting very upset because Miss Cracker is doing the same down eyebrow that she is. Well, it's interesting how they edited it, so... Miss Cracker is going through her makeup lookbook that she brought of like, okay, these yeah. are all the faces that I can yeah. do or whatever. And they, I mean, who knows how they edit it, but you know, she's like, oh, I think I'll do my 1930s look. And she says that. And then Monet is like, whenever you do that makeup at the club, it's right. so funny because yeah. you look so sad all yeah. the time. I can't stop laughing because yeah. you're always like, Mur. Mur. So they played that first. That's true. And then it cuts to Aquaria being like, oh, she's copying my face and all this stuff. And oh, now we're doing the same eyebrows. And there was a thing online where I was like, oh, does she invent eyebrows? I am personally not here for this. I mean, I am in the sense that it seems like Aquaria is spinning out. Well, sure. And that Miss Gregor doesn't give a doesn't shit. Doesn't give a fuck. So I'm, I'm here for that. Yeah. Because it's silly and it's not like, if it becomes like a let's stop the show to have this drama in this, no, but right. if it's just this sort of like undercurrent uh, sure, of silliness, fair, fair. doesn't bother me. Yes. But also, Miss Cracker's makeup looked better than Aquarius, so I was like, girl, I think you shouldn't throw the first stone. She looked crazy. We will talk about she it. She looked like a crazy clown. I was like, she's gonna blend that, right? So quick commercial break, and then we will be back with the runway, and the critiques, and then a lip sync, and untucked. There's a lot more to go. We might have five commercial breaks. I'm just kidding. That's crazy. <laughs> So Rue walks down the runway and I was gagged. I was like, legs, legs, legs! legs. She has legs, you guys! Oh, she should wear pants more, more often. often. <gasps> I mean, oh, I, I mean, this like, whole thing was ever... Like, her tuck has to be more, like, oh, on point, maybe, so that's why she doesn't do it all the time, but I was like, legs for days! Oh my god. I love that she had the big white hair, then the, the silly single earring, and... 
this I loved it. Uh, the bodysuit, this black Flawless. and white graphic. Flawless. Oh my god. Like a spider it's like a web. Grace Jones look, but like more Rue and less like It was like Grace Jones that skeleton look. Right. But like yeah. by way of RuPaul. Oh yeah. Tens across the board. First on the runway is Aquaria as Slutty Bo Peep. Yeah. I personally did not like this at all. I liked the volume. Like yep. she, I think she created that, you know, that cage and the hat and I'm everything. I'm sure. So I appreciated the volume. That's true. Didn't care for the makeup. I nope. thought she looked like a crazy person. I thought she looked like in Chitty Chitty Bang Bang <laughs> when they dress up as dolls. Yeah, she looked like a freaky... And she's like the clown like, doll, and she's like... Ah, I'm Bo Peep. Yeah. yeah. She looked like a freaky clown doll. Per it was a lot. I really thought she was going to blend this. I was really, I, It was like, crazy. Oh, the makeup yeah. and the wig, the wig was real um, Simple Jack. Simple Jack. <laughs> and like, the wig was like really bad. It was pretty Simple Jacky. And I just was like, Ugh, I don't know. The, the, the hat seemed real crafty. I liked the skirt better. Yeah. Um, well, the hat was had like a list. Yeah, it was kind of like it was a uh, lilt. It was leaning. Sure, sure. It was leaning. Yeah. I, 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 it was leaning. Leaning. <laughs> Involved. <laughs> Wanting. <laughs> Fucking love Bill it's Pullman. So good. So but, and I didn't so, like the pasties. No, so I like I appreciated the volume, the structure of it, but then it felt like the pasties were like an afterthought. Like I ran out. Of like time. oh shit, I don't have a top. I guess I should put something over my nipples. Yeah, I didn't like the pasties. No. So then next was Asia O'Hara with this. I thought this was adorable. Yes. It was very much like a like an eight eight year old. Birthday party, like she's, explosion. Exactly, yeah. she has the the sh the shopping basket on her head. She's like a with the <laughs> fucking unicorn pinata. I love that it was like this headpiece that was like the whole shot, the oh. whole shop. Yeah, I loved it. That was full of crap. Full of crap. I thought the dress was a little busy. Yes. Um, but like cute. But it was like cute. Lisa Frank nonsense. Exploded. I mean, yeah. Exactly. It, um, I got it. It was busy, but I didn't mind it. No, it was, I like it was the like, silly notebook. It was like right on the edge. It was like right on the edge of this is too much. But I, the headpiece really was what sold because I just, was cackling. She told me a story. Yeah. And so I was like, okay, I'm here for it. I liked it. Next down the runway was Kardashian. I'm not saying her whole name. It's fine. It's a money gown that was just worse than the money ball. Oh, okay. But there's nothing to say about it. No. She stuck money to a corset. Yeah. Her blind confidence is troubling. Yes. Because she was like, I feel like this is what Kris Kardashian would wear to the Met Gala. And I was like, I mean, that's just not true. <laughs> you know, it's just like, why well, does stone? Who would ever in a million years wear anything remotely similar to this to the Met Gala? Maybe Rihanna, and maybe it would be fabulous. But it would, but be, it would be like real money. It would be real money. <gasps> oh, yes. This is why I hate working with BET. Except that was fake money. But still, she would, and it'd be fabulous, but it would be still be like a lot more fabulous and be like a fabulous fitted bodice. And she's like, yes, Rihanna, you work. She just, she's hosting the Met Gala this year? No, I didn't. With like two other fabulous bitches. Fabulous cunts, excuse me. The next was Blair St. Clair. I'm excited. I loved this. I thought this was so cute. You know, she got this pleated structure going on. She had her little turkey trot tail in the back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It really, really looked I like liked it. the Elizabethan, you The know. turkey tail? Oh, is that what that... Oh, okay. That's what it looks like. Eat me. It's Thanksgiving Day, you know. Eat me. Da, ba, da. <laughs> no, I thought this was really cute, and I like that she is giving us variety. Like, I wasn't expecting black hair and this dark makeup from her. Like, I was expecting her to do blonde or something sure. peppier. Right, and happier. this was, no, and this, And I was like, yeah. oh, this is a nice surprise, and I yeah. thought it looked really good. I thought it looked great. Next up was Dusty Bottoms. <laughs> I'm just trying to change everyone's name. Then she dresses like a French maid. No, she dressed like the fucking Tin Man. No, I'm saying... In, oh, in my, oh, Dusty in my, Bottoms. In my Dusty yes, Bottoms yes, fantasy. Yes, uh-huh. Dusty, Dusty Bottoms. 
Oh, now that I'm here for. Okay, wait. Okay, yeah. so Dusty yeah. Bottoms does yeah. a dance number at a yeah. strip club uh -huh. where there's a bunch of little go-go boy twinks and in jock straps. And she's basically dressed like Colleen Camp from Clue. Yes, and she has a big feather duster, but yeah. maybe there's like a dildo in the middle of the feather duster. Oh boy, and she's and dusting she's those dusting bottoms. dusting the bottoms as they're bent over. And they're in chaps. Sure. So we get the cowboy thing in there. Oh, you, you have to have... <laughs> um, I'm really enjoying the idea of this art piece. <laughs> I like it. What song is playing over it, though? Oh, boy. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. The good, the bad, the ugly thing. <laughs> and she's like, wow, wow. <laughs> Boy, who knew this was gonna go here? Oh. Hmm. So Dusty Ray Bottoms <laughs> comes out looking like the Tin Man. I was waiting for her to go oil can. I got more of like Flash Gordon witch. I don't know. It was weird because <laughs> it had this like sort of cheesy future, you know, sure. Jet Jetsonsy. I didn't love this, and no. I thought. Um, um, in this case, too many dots. Yes. It looked cluttered. Yes. With the bangs and the whole sit and the hat and the whole thing, it just looked um, messy. Yes. Where in the earlier look, really thought it looked great. Agreed. So I understand maybe where Michelle's coming from. Just a little bit. We'll talk about it. We will talk about she it. She was rude. Yes. So the next was Cameron Michaels. Yes. Um, I did not care for this. She had the astroturf skirt. Well, it looked like that episode of Project Runway where it was like, make a garden party outfit out of flowers. Yeah. Um, but like, not good. No. I didn't like this. I didn't like this at all. I really thought this was bottom worthy. So she looked like an Easter basket. Yes, you know? absolutely. Just, oh, with that awful with shredded the, yeah. cellophane stuff that just gets everywhere. And you're like, why? Just give me chocolate. Just send me some dark chocolate, it's fine. Thank you, thank you, I appreciate it, but just, it's, I don't need this. Yeah, yeah, whatever you want. Just keep feeding me these eggs. <laughs> Jesus died for you, uh-huh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever you want. And then kids eat chocolate eggs because the color of the chocolate and the color of the wood on the cross. <laughs> well, you tell me. <laughs> Gotta get it in. Every time. I'm gonna try to work that in using it reference in. <laughs> Every time. Next up was Monet Exchange in this sponge caveman realness. Now, I didn't mind this. I thought it was really um, creative yes. and dynamic. Yes. And wasn't perfect. No. Um, I think if she had put in a slit, mm -mm. it would have helped because then she could have walked. Well, okay. Because she couldn't walk in this. A lot of thoughts. And that was a problem. She could not walk in this. It seemed like she actually wrapped the fabric around her feet. I'm confused. I think the mistake was doing all of the sponges on the bodice. Right. And then they, they got fewer and fewer on the way down. I think she should have flipped it. It would have been more flattering because it was rather round. It was rather round and large. It was unexpected for me and it just was dynamic. And I agree. And had problems, but I was like, oh! Yeah, I just would have liked a little bit more of like she needed a, more of a shape. shape. It worked somewhat. Mm -hmm. It was safe for me. Next was the Vixen. Okay, so here's the problem. I thought this was terrible and yet I liked it. It was so basic because it was just like, and I'm gonna cut some fucking pool tubes, noodles. pool noodles, and wrap them in like a semi-interesting shape around a bikini and this is my swimsuit and on one hand I'm like okay it looked kind of cool whatever but on the other hand it was like real basic and boring for me this was safe I know a lot of people thought she should have been in the bottom I thought this was more safe I mean I'm glad she was an untucked so it's fine that she was saved if I can't be in a fight I'm gonna watch a fight bitch I'm bringing it up Ooh. So the next is Mayhem Miller. Yes. Is this like black glove? She made these like gloves to look like leather with this fancy little skirt and the glove on her head really made me laugh. Yep. I really like this. I like. I like this a lot. Her face was gorgeous. Yes. And her makeup and everything. I thought the boots made it look more stripper. Sure. They were like thigh high black boots. Sure. It didn't like not go, but I wasn't obsessed with them. I didn't mind it, but sure, whatever. That's fine. But this was really cool, and I thought it like 
transform the material while still like kind of being cheeky about what she was using, like wearing yes. the gloves, the gloves while also gloves having them. Head. Yeah, you know, yeah. like it was. It was I put this in my top three. So then next was your Rico O'Hara, and I thought this was perfectly fine. I didn't like the bodice material. Not really. Was it material? I didn't know what it was. Where it looked, hers looked like just material. Yeah. Were they shower curtains? Maybe. Was the, it like donut the shower big curtains? Skirt. Well, the big skirt was a lot of fabric. Yeah. That I guess was a shower curtain too. She looked like a big old cake, cupcake present. Yeah. And I liked the bottom more than the top. I, I liked the, her little basket purse, and like she was having fun with it. Next was Miss Monique Hart. Oh, I. Coming out like the Queen of Hearts. Oh my god, I love this. I loved this. I thought this was fantastic. The skirt with the, the rolls. The structures the, of the oh skirt. Oh my god. The fucking wig. The oh. wig alone. I was like, <gasps> She wove a fucking plastic wig. She looked like pop art. Like, she had the ace on the gorgeous. back of the of the bodice and just like oh. little cheeky winks. This was fabulous. Yeah, I thought I this was amazing. I loved this. And should have been in the top. I, I thought this was probably my favorite look. Like, I thought she won. Oh, yeah. So then next was uh, Vanessa Vanjie Mateo, and I personally liked this a lot more than the judges did. Yeah. I get 100% what Michelle was saying about it being wide. Yeah. I thought this was more effervescent. It made me smile. Yeah. It was so, like, cute. It was like, so they were like the pink flowers and then these stupid Barbie with mermaid. Mermaid Barbies, like, st coming out of everywhere yeah. and on her face. Uh, yeah. Like, I thought this was safe edging on bottom for me. Sure. But I thought that like her personality was so fun, oh my God, her yeah. makeup looked good, her hair looked good. Well, we're not quite at like the judging whatever yet, but I thought it was so weird that everyone was like, oh my God, she's so much fun. Oh my God, I love her. Oh, she's so great. Oh, she talks and I'm just obsessed with her. And then it's like, oh, but she's in the bottom. I was shocked because they had a lot of compliments for her. The next was Yuha. And she has this like caution tape dress that was kind of boring. It was boring. It was fine. It was like a halter top with fringe. Yeah. Onk, onk. Kept trying to make onk happen. Right. I thought this was safe for me. I thought this was safe as well. Personally. Yep. I don't know. A hundred percent. I think she was in the bottom. There's no way in hell. Was she just out there so we, they could ask her if it was an onk or not? Yes. Yeah, that's, yes, that is it. That is it. So they can make more onk jokes? And a hundred percent. So then last was Brianna Cracker. <laughs> Ms. Cracker. And I didn't love this as much as the judges did. I liked this. I thought it was interesting and whatever. I didn't love her makeup. I thought it was too blue. Um, I thought it didn't necessarily go with the outfit. Not really. Because she's... I liked it. I thought it was very interesting. I thought it was one of the most unique silhouettes out there. Yes. I thought it looked really well made. Yes. I thought she's a widow wearing that. Right. Like it was the 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 ideas were were conflicting Confusing. with yeah. each other. Yeah. Well, and then she didn't have any cleavage. It was just well, so. I really think she should have done a little shading and a little contouring. Just. Just a little because it really looked manny and it was yeah. so open. It was so broad and wide. And yeah. I get she had the hats and whatever, but like yeah. figure it out then so that you got a little chest going on because it looked real boy. Even just a little paint. Yeah, exactly. Little but exactly. anyway, I don't know. This didn't seem like a dress you'd wear to a funeral. Oh, no. So Unless you're trying to pick up a new husband. A John? Yeah, exactly. No, I mean this was like fashion forties. You know, like it, it, sure. it was cool. It was a different idea. I've never really seen this before. Sure. So I appreciated all that, but the ideas were kind of contradictory for me. I agree. So I wasn't like shocked she was in the top at all. I thought Not she was a, really good. Well, a little. Because I thought that Monique definitely deserved to be in the top above her. Bitch, I was stunning. Oh, really? Personally. I think as much as I really liked Blair's, I maybe would have put her safe just because it was really, really, really cute. And not as like, oh, what's that? I guess. I don't know. I personally. There was a bottom four. There can be a top four. Sure. Well, then they do this whole razzmatazz of like. Well, because we're like, wait a second. I thought Christina Aguilera was supposed to be a guest judge. Because they, they tease it at yeah. the beginning of the episode. And then I was like, where's Christina Aguilera? She hasn't been here this whole time. And then he was like, wait a minute. I've got one more mm -hmm. queen. And I was like, oh, so it's Christina Aguilera? Yeah. 
Oh, so you're gonna fake us out? And it's Christina Aguilera. Yeah. And then it was. Yeah. And oh, it's pheromone. Like, oh, it's pheromone. And then Christina Aguilera does this whole weird voice. Oh, Rue. <laughs> I only have one thing to say. She was talking like Betty Boop. It was oh, very Rue. weird. Oh, Rue. Boop, 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 boop. Oh, Rue. <laughs> it was like weird. <laughs> But then she didn't like to talk like that the rest of the no. time. I was like, is that what she thinks Pheromone talks about? Right. Is that why she asked to meet her backstage? So she could be like, Mwah. Right, but she didn't but really she get the moaning. she wasn't even doing the like, no. Mwah. Mwah, room highlighter. <laughs> it was funny if you watch the video of Farrah and her backstage, because they called Farrah in to come visit for... To meet to Christina Aguilera. Like, like, she didn't know that. For like, well, sure. a surprise. Yeah. So they surprised Pheromone and she just goes, who did this? <laughs> I'm Christina, nice to meet you. <laughs> Look how beautiful. And then they talk about something and it was fine. Yeah, it was perfectly nice. I don't find Christina Aguilera, she is no Lady Gaga. Um, it was just interesting, like last season it was like, okay, here's a master class in everything you're doing wrong and right and this is how you become more famous and successful. And it was just like bullet points. Yeah. And this was like, Christina Aguilera was like, hey! Yeah! Great! I mean, which was perfectly you're fun. Great. And, yeah, But it was exactly. just so different. So different. She comes out and then I went, but she didn't watch the fucking runway, what the fuck? How's she gonna judge them? And then they show this stupid clip of her like... Oh, don't worry, Christina was watching from the wings. What? I loved it. It was so stupid. <laughs> oh, it made me laugh. It so, so silly. <laughs> watching the behind the scenes. She was watching some monitor in her trailer. Yes. Let's be real. Yes. <laughs> yes. So a second commercial break, and then we will be back with some judging rigor morris and <laughs> the lip sync and untucked. Get ready. <laughs> so we get to the judging and Michelle is not having Dusty's makeup. I thought this was dismissive. Borderline unacceptable. We're going to see this all the time. Not all the time. I can do a lot of things. Okay, looking forward to a dot-free face, Dusty. <laughs> if she had done it for like 3 episodes in a row, Right. Then it's like, look, well, we get that a nicer way to do it, to be like, oh, is this your signature style? Great. I, I do want to see you do other things in the future just to make sure you know, you know, how to do other things. But this is cool that that's your thing. Right. It gave me an icky feeling. And I, I was mean, like, mm -mm. I'm here for the judges, like, actually critiquing yes. them and, like, yes. molding them and being like, this is what you should do. Like, I, I was like, oh, this is what I was missing from All Stars. You guys yes. were pointless in all stars. Exactly. Because you weren't saying anything. So no. you were like, you're great. Oh, you're fabulous. You know, it was boring. Yeah. So I'm excited about that, but this was pretty rude. And then Mayhem has like a bit of a breakdown. Yeah. So she said like, there's a lot of pressure and I finally hear. And she sort of has like a meltdown. Yeah. And she's just like. I get that. Pretty excited because she's like on the top. Yeah. But she was like, ah. And then she breaks down again. A couple times. Right. So then we get to Ms. Crack, Brianna. We get to Brianna. And she. <laughs> She had a, a a fun, quick comeback for every single thing they were saying. This to her. was the wit that she kept claiming that she had, and yeah. I was like, okay, girl, at least you're backing it up. Right. And this was fun. It's Miss Cracker, if you're nasty, and I'm disgusting. <laughs> what was the tragedy? A fisting accident? There are no accidents in fisting. <laughs> I mean, I'm I'm excited. They're they're making fisting jokes on VH1. Right. Next, they'll be able to do Dusty Bottoms as one woman dildo. Uh, French review. Yeah, love it. Here for it. So, Calorie and Vanessa are in the bottom bottom. I think what it came down to was maybe that Ruth thought that she was going to do better in the lip sync than she did. Maybe. She was like, I want to see it. Yeah. Yeah, because, okay, so then they lip sync to Ain't No Other Man, yeah. Christina Aguilera, and for the first half, I was like, so double elimination? I mean, basically... It was, like, pretty low energy. I was really disappointed. I don't know what sapped all of the energy out of Vanessa, but she was just... Low energy. Low energy. That was all... Like, it wasn't dead. It wasn't... She was doing all of the right stuff, but it was, like, at a 7, not a 10 or a 12. And yeah. it's, like, you kind of yeah. need to be at a 12 right now. Yeah. So I was fully, like, oh, shit. Yeah. It's gonna be double elimination. I mean, it really could have been, but then... But then, I, I'll give it to Calorie. I was, I was really like, oh, Vanessa's gonna kill this shit. Calorie's going home. We called it. Yeah. And I was like, girl, Calorie took it. 
She pulled it. She out. won that lip sync. She made it rain. Once it got to the breakdown of the song, and she just started like twerking, yep. and like humping the stage, and then she, she just splits. makes it rain yeah. and all the money. And I was like, "Girl, you did it." Yeah. You know, I was like, "Yeah." She. It was a. They cut to a Carson again, being very uncomfortable. Yeah. She definitely deserved the win. Yes, yes. Which was what was such a bummer for me about Vanessa Miss Vanjie. Yeah. Um, was I thought she would have turned it out. And I think that maybe she got in her own head. I think she got like depressed. Like performing Christina and, like, in front of Christina after sure. meeting Christina. That's a, that's a head game. At the end of the song, she does like a high kick in her shoe. Flies on her I love that. Rolling with, with the, the homies. homies. <laughs> So Vanessa goes home and yeah. I was bummed, but like she lost that lip sync it's, fully. It, so I was like, yep. okay girl, I don't know what happened. Yep. And then she does a weird performance. Yeah. Miss Vanjie. Miss Vanjie. Miss Vanjie. Miss Vanjie. Miss Vanjie. Miss Vanjie. We just turned into Katya. Maza. Maza. It's Miss Vanjie again. Girl. So untucked. This week got untucked. Girl. Oh, I like that. I'm, I'm excited about that new thing. Yeah. It also seems real shady because they always cut to like the most dramatic moments being like, I just never thought I was going to get here, you know. Girl. <laughs> Girl. So they all go back. There's not two rooms. But there's still some drama. And there's and alcohol. Some sass and there's alcohol. And Monet is like, Y'all don't act like outfits? No. <laughs> <laughs> no, Monique, though, definitely de deserved to be in the top three. But whatever. Well, I, I have to let it go. She I'm kind of gagged, though. But we did get all of her in Untucked, so it was worth it. I mean, not mad. She owned Untucked. Oh my god. She was everything in Untucked. The winner. Check her. posted a video. Room. Yeah. And then Monet Exchange has to like, she's trying to explain her whole outfit. Cause they're like, girl, why are your earrings blue? Well, it represents the water, water and, and the these, suds these are and bubbles. The dirt. Because it's supposed to be like water and sponge and dirt. You see what I'm saying? No, didn't get that. No, bye, bye, come on. It's, come on, y'all. This was just so fun. This yeah. is like the kiki that I want. It was such a fun kiki. Everything you have done has been about cleaning. You came in sweeping the floor. Now you got another bunch of girl. We don't do that no more. Ain't you seen oh, the hell? Oh my God. <laughs> no. And then we get the vixen straight up just being like, I was pissed watching last season. Everyone was way too fucking nice. Watching season nine, I was pissed off at all the niceties. And I'm like, y'all not getting to the real well, shit. And then we get this whole uh, Aquaria yellow dress. I mean, it does seem like people are bringing it up to Aquaria. Sure. She doesn't always ish. seem to be inciting it, but people are like, so tell us more about this feud that's been going on a little bit. But she's talking about how their outfits are always similar and this whole yellow dress thing. Yellow latex dress with a poofy sleeve, with a heart cut out here, and a flare skirt. Two weeks later, Cracker shows up, yellow vinyl dress, circle cutout, poofy sleeve, and flares around it. She mm -hmm. wore a yellow dress with a cutout and poof sleeves and a thing, and, and then Miss Cracker wore one. We saw the pictures. They're similar at best. I'm going to have to go ahead and, and pull this one out because <laughs> this was some bullshit. <laughs> I mean, it just was. Well, she said, I, Aquarius says, I wore a yellow dress with poof sleeves and, yeah. a, and a big skirt. And the, at least in the picture I saw, she had no sleeves. I did like the, that, I think Eureka or somebody was like, oh, are you going to like bring this up to her? Have you ever confronted her about this? I don't, well, I guess we're going to get to that at some point. <laughs> So then the top and bottom queens come back into the workroom and Vanessa is just like, well, I'm in the bottom. In the bottom. Like she's just like being yep. real about it or whatever. Yep. And she's like, that's what it mean, is what it is. It's me and Kardashian. Kardashian in the bottom too. And, and Kardashian is all like. They just told me that I pretty much copied everybody. Very muddy ball season three, Raja. They called oh, that. They, 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 they lifted her. Honey. But they were all just like, yeah, pretty much you did. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it, it certainly was. It's obvious, right? Oh, yeah. it wasn't obvious too. And then she starts talking. To her. This is this was also some bullshit. She's uh -huh. just like, mm -hmm. she's just like. I mean, I feel like other people shouldn't have bought them because I used more materials. And then she calls out Monet, and I was like, she is covered from head to toe in sponges. sponges. What are you talking about? Right? Call out the fucking Vixen for having three pool noodles. 
Poodle noodles. Oh, I keep wanting to say poodle noodles. Poodle noodles. But that's not a thing. She's getting all defensive about it or whatever, and they're basically just like, girl, you're just bitter because you're in the bottom of time. Let's move on. <laughs> I mean, I am also here for Monet Exchange. Oh, yes. 100%. There's some girls here that I don't feel they used enough stuff. I mean, wait, call them out. Call them out by name. So then Mayhem starts to cry again. Right. Because. She's just so excited to be here. Because after so many years of doing drag, you just feel like, what did you do this for? Girl. I'm glad that she had this moment. I'm glad that she won the first challenge yep. and she feels, you know, validated and yep. vindicated and whatever. And now I'm ready. And now to get it together well, and like. Monday is like, here's a sponge. Oh my God, I'm like, so tears. So good. <laughs> Your look is on top, slay. This is yours. For now. This is yours for now. Because <laughs> I'm coming for you. Yeah, because she deserved this win just as much. Then Christina comes back. Oh, right. To talk to them. Yeah. And they have a kiki. Mm -hmm. And it was pretty whatever. I mean, it was like fun, sure, great. It was like, sure, that was fun. But yeah. once again, Monique is like. <laughs> She's like, now, girl, tell me about Fighter. That was written about somebody specifically, right? Of course it was. Girl, you read him for the back row. Ah! <laughs> she read him. Word. No alimony, bitch. Yep. They're all, like, gagging over Christina. Yeah. They're like, oh, my God, when's your next album coming out? Right. It was all very sweet. Yeah, it was all very nice. I did think it was interesting. So Eureka has now got to meet. Gaga, Gaga and Christina and Aguilera. Gaga and Christina Aguilera on like a personal level. Yeah. Like one to one. Yeah. And yeah, so Vanessa goes home and she seemed really bummed about it and she I am- She seemed really sad. I am too. Yeah. I didn't think she deserved to be- In the bottom. Necessarily in the bottom. Not in the bottom two. Yeah. For sure. I would have put other people there. Definitely. Yeah. What are you gonna do? So, join us next week. Yes. We'll see you next Thursday. We will see you next Thursday or sooner. And- If you're a Patreon subscriber. Exactly. We are doing these as fast as we can. Yeah, literally. It's gonna be really fun. I'm so glad. After All Stars, I was like, where, where, where? I feel uh, I'm <laughs> drifting and yeah, lost at yeah. sea. And then it's like, oh no, this is my home. Oh good, we found an anchor. <laughs> and it's the vixen, and she's gonna stir the shit. I'm so excited. To stir in the pot. We gotta get the stir in the pot song back. You know, it's like, stir in the pot. What was our stir in the pot song? Something mostly like that. Stir, stir, stir in the pot. Damn it. <laughs> we'll work on it. We'll come back next week. Cheers. Cheers to Moni Cart, the winner of this episode. And Untucked. Yeah. I'm a production.